Hello everyone, this is your produce guy. Now if you've watched your produce guy for a little while, you know that I love fresh fruits and vegetables. And you can't get fresher than growing your own stuff. And I've got something here today that's going to help me and can help you to grow better, bigger, more delicious vegetables and fruits than ever. I've got here a box of composting worms and I'm going to show you how to use these worms to get worm castings that will work as compost in your garden. Now these worms come from Big Tex Worms. My friend Liz over there, her website is wormbincomposting.com. You can remember her business name, Big Tex Worms. And the reason I love her worms and what she does for you, you get so much more than just this box of worms and maybe a, a piece of paper with a few instructions on it. First of all, once you make your purchase, you download an ebook with instructions all over the place and a reference guide that you can use. Secondly, she's got a series of eight videos that teach you what to do with your worms. Third, she gives you access to forums where you can ask questions and have discussions with other worm ranchers. And fourth, of course, you can talk to her directly or uh, ask her questions directly via her website. So you get total support and not just a box of worms showing up on your doorstep. So I've got this box here. It is a starter pack. I'm going to take a look at them. Let's see what they look like. It's always like Christmas when you get a package like this, isn't it? All right. Get that opened up there. Okay, we've got uh, some instructions right there. Look at all this paper that is used to pack around the worms. This will be actually used as bedding in the worm bin. And here they are. Can't see a thing, but in here are a whole bunch of uh, wiggly little worms. Little uh, red crawlers. To house these little guys, you need a bin. Uh, some type of plastic bin that they can go in. I'm using an old storage bin here that I've had around the house. Now it has to be opaque, meaning that the sunlight can't get through it. You can't have direct sun on these worms. Now this storage container has a snap-on lid that will make a tight seal, and you don't want a tight seal. You need to have some aeration for the worms. So I went ahead and I drilled some holes up around the top of this for the worms to get uh, air in and out. They need oxygen just like we do. Okay, now this again is a starter bag. You can order just your own uh, worms on their own, but this starter bag comes with their own medium. Uh, so you don't have to prepare anything. You'd put them in compost or uh, I guess really uh, uh, peat moss would be the way to do it. But you see this starter bag has everything you need. You can see these guys. Look at all of them right there. These guys are compost making machines. Woo! So we'll just spread that out. So the next step here is I'm going to lay this this uh, packing material over the top of them, that paper right there, and we're going to take them in the house and turn a light on near them. The light will uh, drive them down deep into the soil and then we can start feeding them. Well, this is the start of our worm growing project here. I'm very excited about this. Within 60 days, I should have compost that I can use out in the garden. What they eat is uh, they'll eat food scraps. So I'm going very green with my uh, watermelon rinds or whatever uh, other produce refuse I have. I'll be able to feed them here and we'll do some updates on this video so that you can see the progress of this. But I'm really excited about it. Now, if you want to know more information directly on these worms, be sure to go over, see my friend Liz, Big Tex Worms, and their website is wormbincomposting.com. You get tons of info there and even see an introductory video on YouTube. So thanks for being with me. Thanks for following along with, uh, with our little projects here. I hope you're having as much fun with them as I am. And I hope it's inspiring you to do something uh, for yourself, even on a small scale 
you can, uh, these worms are going to be in the house with us and they will, uh, they will do great. Looking forward to seeing you next time. As always, I'm your produce guy reminding you that fresh is best. We'll see you. How many of you, in the, especially in the fall when you've got fruit coming in, your neighbors bring you some fruit, you're buying fruit out at the roadside stand, uh, you're bringing all that fruit into your home and it sits there for a few days as you let it ripen and next thing you know, you've got fruit flies or you got that banana you forgot about and fruit flies everywhere. Well, what I've got for you today is the world's greatest fruit fly trap.